Hello everybody, this is Stringhammer back to conclude Group H and this video officially concludes the group stage as well. Four more matches to go and we will know our final 32. Right, and to determine that final 32 we have got this fight card for you. So, you can see our main event of this session it is a big match between LP Gozzi and Killer Wolf. Victory for Gozzi in our match takes them through. Hell, even a bonus point, a losing bonus point, will be enough to take them through. But before that, we have got Cudgel Booth going up against Black Rider. Cudgel Booth needs to get a bonus point win out of that match to have any chance of going through. Then we have Ur going up against Shin Dominus. Victory for Ur takes them through to the last 32 round. Victory for Shin Dominus could knock Ur out of the tournament. But at first, it is Tyrant King going up against already eliminated Iron Dan. Okie dokie, in the red corner for Tyrant King, we have got Black T-Rex, and of course Tyrant King has terrain advantage, because Iron Dan have had, has had no fortunes whatsoever in this tournament. <laughs> Especially compared to last year, they had, a they had a pretty good tournament last year. Although, I will say in the group stage, they did barely get out, but they had a good, good go at the knockout. Anyway, speak of the devil, in the blue corner for Iron Dan, we got Stegosaurus. And the terrain advantage won't be... Tyron King's alone. Iron Dan does get terrain advantage with this match. In this match, courtesy of the cart, but oh my god, it's gonna be a crept. <laughs> oh, this is Yeah. Well, victory for Tyron King would ensure they finish at least in the top two. Which would be good, because top two in this group do end up on the kinder side of the draw. So that would be good for them. And yes, if, if I sound a uh, very voicey weirdness, it's because I've been peppered with yet another throat infection the past couple of days. Been, well, it's not, not been as bad as the last one, the, the one that almost killed me. <laughs> but yeah, it seems like I'm, I'm just getting peppered with more infections than a lab rat. Fun time. Oh, there we go, there's a crept. It's a good response from I and Dan. I mean, they can't get anything out of this except sheer pride. Come on, Iron Dan. We're getting a second win of the tournament. You deserve it. Okay, the tech boost is going to max up. But yeah, I feel a lot better today. More energy, more life, more vigor. I got any to do tournament videos. Okay, that's a good earth barrier, that. Okay, it's so tight. Ooh, oh, that, oh, I thought that triggered the death fire, but it didn't. Oh, he don't need the death fire. Oh, actually, no, he does, because this is... I can't remember if this goes through Earth Barrier. It probably... Put, let's be honest, it probably does. Yeah, if, if Iron Dan gets it, it probably does go through Earth Barrier. About to find out now. And of course it does. <laughs> right, coming in next for Iron Down, we got Cart Okay, they're not going to be too far behind because the Black T Rex is going down regardless because this cart gets terrain. Right, so, yeah, first place in this group, I believe, plays Gal's Maniac. Second place plays against. No, hang on, no, it's the other way around. First place in this group plays against Kaijon Cooper. No, no they don't, no. Second place in this group plays against Kaijon Cooper. First place plays against Dyn uh, against Gazmaniac. Third place in this group plays against Drogon. And ends up on that stacked side. And fourth place plays Team Allo. Right, anyway, coming in next for Tyrant King, we've got... Super Eo Karkaria, Wake Mode on Freeze. And it doesn't get terrain advantage because you only get terrain advantage once in the entire match. So there's no terrain advantage for the Eo Kark because Black T Rex already used it. But that's one. Ooh, some good shots from Iron Dan. Twice. 
Come on, Iron Dan. You could do this, bro. I believe in you. Ooh, okay. There's a hit from the eel cark. It will survive. It will get a chance and an awakened hit. Well, with Tyrant King, it's all about the big hits. And they have got a lot of big hits in this tournament. And that's pretty much why they have... You know, they, they're already through and sitting second and could win this group. And yet, yeah, just like that, quick as a wink. It's all about the big hits. Right, coming in food for Iron Dan. We got Super Spinosaurus, Awaken Mode on three. Now, can Iron Dan get a big hit of their own with this? With an Awakened hit? Maybe they can. And finish on a high. Oh, that's a tie. Can't afford any of them. Okay, there's another tie. Playing dangerously here, Iron Dan. Okay, there's the hit. And that does trigger the Futaba Cannon, ready for the Ankylosaurus. This is another interesting match, because Iron Dan has got more hits in this match. But Tyron King is slightly in front because he's got big hits. You know, the, the two Crimson Flames, the one Crimson Flame that went through the Earth Barrier. The, well, actually, well, the one hit was a terrain hit, which turned out to be a crit. The Awakened hit. It's all about big hits. Oh, and here's another big hit, another big crit coming from Tyrant King. It is so, so impressive how hard they can, some of these dinos can hit. Oh, no. Right, that's one. Oh, there's a Futaba Cannon. Iron Dan, not beaten yet. Um, I don't think Awake Mode's going to matter at this point because the Ankylosaurus is going to be in killing range of a crit. And that actually does secure a losing bonus point for Tyrant King, which could be important. And that will pretty much guarantee at least second place. Okay, that's a tie. Oh, and there's another hit from Iron Dan. Is this lethal? And it's lethal. And Iron Dan gets the victory. And a victory to finish their tournament on a bit of a positive. It's not been the tournament they'd hoped for, but at least they go out on a high. And Tyrant King will get that losing bonus point, which I think will be enough to all but secure second place. So all's well and ends well, I suppose. Both our guys kind of get what they want. Now, anyway, on to our next match. Okie dokie, in the red corner for Ur, uh, we have got the Blitz type Spinosaurus, so you know the deal. It's going to go for those two Blitz crits. Will it get any of them off? Well, we'll find out, won't we? Um, there's no fire types in this matchup, so no terrain advantages. Victory for Ur, uh, takes some fruit for the last 32 round, but a defeat and they will go out. Right, in the blue corner for Shin Dominus, we got Sunni Ceratops. Victory for Shin Dominus puts them in the top four, but then they'll have to hope that Gozzi and Black Rider win their respective matchups. There's a lot to play for you. A win for U knocks out Shin Dominus and it knocks out Cudgel Booth. Oh, that's a good start. Now it's got to take this advantage, so. You know, I think the Blitz effect will probably balance it out and... Oh, crikey, you bloody well did. Okay, there's a tie. But one Blitz crit has been quite devastating here from Earth. But the Zuni Ceratops get in the next hit. Oh, that's a big crit. 
Well, that's uh, Zuniceratops dead. Very, very dead. And a little bit of recovery too. But it's a fast start from... <clears throat> right, coming in next for Shindominus, we've got Anchiceratops. Katniss, well, we've seen Shindominus rally back from losing positions quite a few times in this tournament, so... You know, let's not count them out yet. Ooh, okay, Anki Ceratops getting a hit, getting a tie bomb going. Oh, but ooh, gets another hit, a recovery to come, an alpha dice. Okay, it's only a one. <laughs> to the relief of Shindominus, it's only a one. Minimal damage done, but the Spino does heal up a bit. Oh, it gets another hit on the board. Okay, the light recovery is maxed up, though. Good shot from Ur, extending the lead. And that's another Alpha Dice. What will it land on this time? Oh, it's a two. <laughs> it's a two. Well, if it went for those Alpha Dice, Ur would be 2 0 up by now. Okay, there's a hit and a much needed light recovery. What's that? Oh, but the spider gets another hit. Oh, almost freaking killed it. Okay, but it's not 2-0 to ooh. Instead, the Anchiceratops gets the hit, levels things up. It's been a bit untidy, I think is the appropriate word. But Shindominus still hanging on in there. Right, coming in next for ooh, we got Orinoceratops. I should point out the big issue for... Shindominus is Armatus in third with type advantage. That's going to be a big problem for Shindominus. And he's already playing catch up in this matchup, so he really needs to rally back quick. Right, that's all right. Okay, there's a hit. Another tie bomb. Get some ties going. They can wrestle back control in this match. Oh, the Archaeopteryx Charm coming in there, taking out the tie bomb, healing up the Orinoceratops. Oh, and it was a tie as well. <laughs> okay, that's a tie as well, and that's going to be Curtin's Ranky Ceratops. Right, coming in third for Shindominus, we got Staracosaurus. And is this the beginning of the end for Shindominus in this tournament? a crit. That's not good. Yeah, I, I think this is going to be the end for Shindominus. Oh, definitely. Yeah, with that as well. It's going to be very tough to rally back, especially with an Armatus in third as well. Okay, there's a crit. Needs, needs a, a lot to happen here. Oh, the light, yeah. This isn't good for Shindominus. This is the end. Wait, what we got here? And yeah, that's it. The lightning axe confirms the end of Shindominus in this tournament. And it also confirms that uh, we'll go through to the last 32 rounds. They went out at the group stage last year, but this year they made it. 
and they got a bonus point win to boot, and in doing so, also knocks out Cudgel Booth. On to our third matchup now, which is kind of a pointless match. <laughs> Okie dokie. Wait, hang on, we got the freaking volcano field again? Okay, anyway, in the red corner, for Cuddle Booth, we have got Megalosaurus. Both our guys will get terrain advantage, both caught fire types. I mean, this this match isn't entirely pointless, because even though Cuddle Booth is already out and can't get out of the group, there is something to pl here to play for for Black Rider, because a losing bonus point, and they will secure top spot in this group, and set themselves up a match against Gazmania. Right, anyway, in the red, blue corner for Gazmania, we've got Mega Raptor. Yes, in hi hindsight, such a killer thing. This match should have been number two, and the previous match should have earned your dominance should have been number three. <laughs> Damn it! But hey, it happens. I mean, from what I've seen in this group, Black Rider probably does deserve to win this group. It'd be a bit of an injustice if they don't. But if they don't, it's because they lost the time cut, and that's literally the only reason. Okay, there goes the Dino Illusion. So yeah, to put it simple, Black Rider basically needed a bonus point win and hoped that Ur and Killer Wolf didn't win. But obviously Ur won the previous match, so yeah. There's nothing Black Rider, nothing um, Cuddle Booth could do here. Oh, look at that! Massive hit from the Mega Rat. Ooh, but the Megalosaurus getting off a 0G throw. Big shots coming from both our guys so far. Hmm. Okay, if you're Black Rider, who would you prefer in the knockout round? Gazmania or Kaijon Cooper? Off the top of my head, I can't think. I can't. Well, I can't think which would be a better match. Okay, well, there goes the Dino Illusion. Okay, that's a hit, and there goes Mega Raptor. Cudgel Booth does indeed take the lead. Right, coming in next for Black Rider, we got Shunasaurus. Shunasaurus, very much a tie specialist. This one is not really about the big hits. And from what I can gather, Megalosaurus doesn't seem to do well in, with ties, but. I will say, if the Megalosaurus does go down here... Oh, it's a tie. Yeah, here it comes. Here comes the Ocean Panic. I think this is going to be lethal for Megalosaurus. Alpha Acro comes in next. It does have terrain advantage. It will get the next hit. It will be a crit. Oh, look like T-Post. <laughs> it's like head T-Post off the ground. Never seen that before. Right, coming in next for Cuddle Booth, we got Alpha Acrocamphosaurus, the only one in this tournament. Well, we're not going to see it at all in the knockout rounds. It does get the next hit, the terrain advantage, and it will be a crit. I can't remember if this Tunosaurus has Dino stuff or not. I mean, you guys all know because I've put the moves up. Okay, it doesn't. Let's have a look. Ooh, that's a five. That's going to be a big hit. I mean, Alpha Acro is a pretty good crit anyway. I don't think you need that move on it. Ooh, Alpha Acro gets another hit. It's a banana surprise. Cuddle Booth regaining the lead in this match. And that is a good hit because it stops the Shunosaurus from going for Ocean Panics. Okay, there, there is a hit on the board. But again, Shunosaurus' big advantage is gone. And well, his life is gone. Oh, it's a sex. Okie dokie, coming in third for Kit for a um, Black Rider. We got Black T Rex. 
Now we will dare not count Black Rider out yet because this big brute can pull it back. He's pulled it back from him in previous matches. We can do it again. And it does get the next hit because it's got terrain advantage. Any excuse to rest my voice. <laughs> Tight. Oh wow! Black T Rex with loads of damage. I think this Alpha Acro is tight, tight, mate. Oh well, the Alpha Acro is going down. Oh good, it's burning dash. Just like that, Alpha Acro burnt to a cinder. Right, coming in food for Kadubu. We've got Ceratosaurus. It's got tight disadvantage against that, Cerat that Black T Rex. That, that is an issue. But yeah, that's why you don't count Black Rider out yet. That Black T Rex hits like a truck. Especially now he's got tight advantage. Although, Burning Dash, Magma Blaster are not triggered. So that is something to bear in mind. Well, the Magma Blast will be triggered now. That's a crit. And it's a very beneficial crit. Jeez, look at that. Massive hit. Oh, there we go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy for Cudgel Booth. And they take the victory. And that victory does confirm that Tyrant King will win this group. And Black Rider will finish second and have a match against Kaijon Cooper. And Cudgel Booth does finish their tournament on a high. But yeah, for them, in their case, the damage was probably done early. On to our main event of this session. And it is winner takes all. Alpha Slash. Okay, this is a good field for Killer Wolf. They will get terrain advantage in this match. Right, in the red corner for Gauzy, we have got Terry. Um, I have to say, this Terry really hasn't performed in this tournament. It always seems to get killed pretty early. Well, if Gozzy wants to secure that top four spot, that's going to have to change. Right, in the blue corner for Killer Wolf, we got Super Carnotaurus, a wake mode on one. Really taking the nuclear option here. And well, he's going to need it to pay off here if he wants this win, and he needs to win. Victory for Killer Wolf takes them through, provided that Gozzy does not get a losing bonus point. Losing bonus point is all Gozzy needs to go through. Right, we understand the stakes. Oh, that's a really good start for Gozzy. That's a crimson flame. And a good excuse to rest my voice. Right, here we go, time to be awakened mode. Elemental, Elemental Fusion. Oh, and he does get the awakened head. Okay, Dino Luden didn't get triggered, it was a diva. Oh my god, that was pathetic. That is like the most pathetic awakened hit I think I've ever seen. Seriously? That it? Well, there's another hit. And there it is. There goes Carnotaurus and Terry putting Gozzy in front. Maxing up defensively as well. That could come in handy. Because coming in next for Killable, we have got Ampelosaurus. I love this thing. I don't know why. I just do. A beautiful dinosaur. Oh, I was close, almost cut paper there. 
Oh god, I didn't botch that. <laughs> I'd have to start this match again. But there is another hit from Gozzi. This has been a really good start. And remember, he's got the death fire as well. That's something Killer Wolf has to be careful of. Although these hits aren't doing much damage, there is a saving grace. Amplosaurus does have type advantage, but this hit will do a bit more. This is really not going to plan for Killer Wolf. Okay, there we go, there's a hit. Oh, the death fire's been triggered, that's gonna be a problem. Oh, hang on. There's a problem solver, it's a shockwave. And that shockwave stops the death fire from being activated because the Ampelosaurus will go for that rock hit. How big could that be? Well, he gets the hit anyway, but that could be a huge turning point in this match as Terry goes down. Right, coming in next for El Igozi, we've got Super Ceratosaurus, Awake Mode on 4. Has this match's momentum swung? Now, I will say, this thing does have Dino Stuffer, so if it can take out the Ampelosaurus, Patty Rhinosaurus's terrain hit will be wasted because that hit will be a crit. So there's a little bit of incentive for the Stratosaurus here. It'll eat up that terrain hit. It's tight. And for Killer Wolf, they need to get a crit here to make sure that that terrain hit isn't wasted. And it's gonna be wasted. The Ampelosaurus is gonna go down. The attack boost coming in as well. And that does mean that that Pachyrhinosaurus's terrain hit is going to be wasted because of the Dino Stuffer. Right, coming in third for Killer Wolf, got Pachyrhinosaurus that's going to have to do a lot of work here if Killer Wolf wants this win. And more importantly, it cannot afford to go below half health. If it does, that secures a losing bonus point for Gozzi, and that secures his place in the last 32. Right, first things first, terrain hit. But again, it gets the gate of the Dino Stuffer. Well, I think that's one, this is a bit. Yeah. Okay, it's a tie. Can't afford too many of them. Needs to get a big hit and quick. That's not good. Attack boost maxing up as well. Is that it? Is that it for Gossi? Yeah, that's it. Game over for Killer Wolf. It don't matter if they come back to win now. Gossi's done enough to get the losing bonus point, and in fact, they've done even better because they got the bonus point win. Going through an emphatic style. And that will conclude the group stage, ladies and gentlemen. And unfortunately for Killer Wolf, yeah, it just didn't happen for them in this matchup. I need to rest my voice, so we're going to look at the table, and we're going to look at the official last 32 round as well. So yeah, that is the final table for Group H, ladies and gentlemen. So, Tyrant King does win the group by virtue of the head-to-head -head they have over both Black Rider and El Gozzi. Black Rider finishing second because they do have the head-to-head -head over Gozzi, who finishes in third. Ooh, gets through in fourth on 15 points. And Killer Wolf, Cudgel Booth, Iron Dan, and Shin Dominus all bow out so yeah group h has been a lot of quick fast matches heavy hitting teams and it's these four that have survived right we're gonna have a look at the last 32 round now so yeah that is the last 32 round confirmed ladies and gentlemen so you can see our first matchup is gonna be kaijon kuta going up against black rider then over here gozzi moving over to the stat side of the draw going up against drogon targaryen the third like seriously that is nuts a uh, pit Pick a semi-finalist out of that lot. And down here we have Ur, they'll be taking on Team Allo. And over here, Tyron King for winning the group will get a match against Gazmaniac. So looking at it, I think we can all safely say that this side is the most stacked side of the draw. Only one of these two will get to the semi-final and only two of them will get to the quarter-final. Ooh. I would, and th these two, this side is very, very generous. <laughs> Oh my God, we got two 
former semi-finalist on this side of the draw and one previous winner. Well, of my tournament, anyway. That's crazy. As opposed to over here, where we got former champ, well, current champ, former champ, won someone else's tournament, I think won someone else's tournament, won someone else's tournament, semi-finalist, uh, quarter-finalist, former, used to be a semi-finalist in my tournament. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, down here in two... Down you ain't too bad. You'll probably do well until you run into one of these buggers. <laughs> but yeah, which matchup are you looking forward to? And are you happy with your uh, positioning in the last 32 round? Put a comment down below. And until next time, ta-ta! Mm -hmm.